days after we brought you the story of a country singer who had his equipment stolen in Portland, we're learning about a similar incident. Tonight, another touring artist says he had one final stop in Portland and his world was turned upside down when someone stole the instrument he loves. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom has his story. Alistair Fraser says he and his musical partner were about to play the last gig of their tour here in Portland when they stopped and parked here at Southwest 10th and Taylor for some breakfast. And to our great shock, we came back to the car and the windows were bashed in and all of our belongings were taken out. Alistair Fraser says Portland is one of his favorite places to visit, but when he and his musical partner Natalie has had a final stop in the city to finish off their tour, they were devastated to find their car with broken windows, having only parked in this garage for a couple of hours for a quick bite. Feeling a bit kind of foolish, you know, like, and, and just unlucky, I guess. You know, we try to be careful. We take our stuff. I rarely leave my violin in a car, but I, I did this time. Playing Scottish fiddle for his entire life, he says losing an instrument goes beyond a financial hit, as he says he's developed a special bond with his. These are old friends, and they're not easily replaced. Natalie also had her personal belongings in the car, stolen like her cello, which Fraser says someone actually bought off the alleged thief on the street just an hour after it was stolen. And the gentleman who bought it said he did so for just $40. And when he saw a phone number on the instrument, he called and returned it. And we just, we just love this guy, like, what, what a thing. Fraser hopes the same may happen for his violin and for bows he plays it with, which he says each have a story of their own. You, know, you try many, many bows during your life, and you find a bow that you like, you hang on to it, so it's my heart. Fraser says once the shock from the initial theft settled, he found he just didn't have the heart to leave his violin behind. So he stayed for an extra couple of days and started setting up these signs, including in the parking garage where he says it all happened and even around town. You know, people hate it when uh, people take musical instruments because music is just like the, the universal language, you know. And I mean, the more people I talk to, the more common I, I hear it is. I mean, I tell people this story and they go, yeah. It's just sad that this is happening in Portland and there's a whole layer of society. And, and all over the world right now, we got, we got to fix, fix some things, you know, and this is a great example. So I'll take the, the bully pulpit here and just put out a plea for, let's take care of each other. Fraser says this whole debacle won't stop him from coming back to Portland because he loves the community and he remains hopeful that that same community might still help him get his stolen items back. Reporter from Southwest Portland, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon. Fraser says he is offering a reward for the person who returns his items. You can find a full list of what he says was stolen on our website at kptv.com.